Hey guys, this is a tutorial how to make a thumbnail or at least how to do it in the style that I do it. So we have a video here. This is um, a stupid video I made literally just now. Didn't edit it, didn't but do anything. So what you want to do if you, is you want to find a frame where you have some action going on. So for example, yeah, there you go. That's 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 some action. So there you go. You print screen that, and just go to your editing photo editing program. I use Paint.net. It's free. Um, that's it. Then you uh, after you paste after you paste. Okay, right. Let's let's die, let's do it again so you know what I'm doing, right? So you spawn in, not spawn in, I'm like, fucking, this isn't the game, okay. You load up the program, it gets you this template, right? You copy, right? You go to file and you fucking, no, you go to edit and you paste, right? Control V, that's what you want to do. So I'm done, gonna, gonna hold Control and I'm gonna hit V and it's gonna say, hey, do you wanna expand the image? Because the image that you copied, oh, by the way, you press print screen so copy the screen and now you click expand canvas and there you go okay now the aspect ratio is pretty important because the I'm gonna show you why in a minute so you want to go to new and if your screen resolution is nine, uh, 16 by 9 that's aspect ratio, I'm stupid. If your aspect ratio is 16 by 9, then you don't need to change anything. Just go to maintain aspect ratio and type 1280. And it's going to change to 1280, 720. Make sure that's your settings. If your screen ratio, aspect ratio is not 16 by 9, just change it to this, right? Just make sure if it's not changing, then make sure you uncheck this. And there you go. I'm stupid. Right. First, you first you want to get the background. The background is gonna be his face stretched because this is a really stupid video. But if you don't want stretched background, then you want to go to Select Tool, which you can get just by pressing S, the Square Select Tool, and going to Width 16 and Height 9, which is you know the aspect ratio, and just select Fixed Ratio out of the op options here. And then you can stretch and make sure it's properly fit. But I'm not gonna do that because I want his face all stretched to like, yeah, like this, right? So I would just wanna put this up here and just wanna stretch it. Oh, chunks! You have never looked so beautiful. Sometimes you wanna tweak the image to make it look better. Yes, yes. I suggest adding contrast. Yes, perfect. Yes. This is this is just perfect. Maybe a little less contrast, and maybe a little less brightness. Um, yeah, this is good. Okay, now the hardest part of the whole thing is just quickly tracing the thing. Okay, the qu quickly tracing my body. So you want to get the lasso tool, lasso select, yeah, and you just start dragging. If you don't have a face cam, then you know just drag something else on. I don't know, this is how I do it. You didn't came here to do it how you do it. So as you can see, this isn't a good try, so I'm just gonna try again. I need more room for my mouse to do this. This this is what I do every time I make a thumbnail, and usually it doesn't take so long. Because I'm not explaining it, but hey. You know, you gotta explain it every once in a while. And this is probably the worst video to explain it on, because it's fucking stupid, but... Here we go, we got the gun. Hey, maybe we can add like a, a muzzle flash at the end, so it looks like I'm killing myself. You know, because suicide is such a funny joke these days on internet. Alright, there we go. And of course you're gonna get the headphones in. And now, you, you obviously won't get this perfect and it doesn't have to because it's a thumbnail. So no one's gonna pay too much. I mean... It's it's important to get it flashy, but it's not important to get high resolution. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to make sense. That's what I mean. There we go. Good. Look at this. This is a good thumbnail. And I like to go to effects, artistic ink scratch, and it just makes it look like I'm a fucking cartoon character. It's perfect. Look at this shit. This is good. And now, now I want to 
add a new effect. So what I want to do is I want to add a new layer. And with muzzle flashes, there's a bunch of them online. So if we just type, oh shit, I don't want you to see this. Uh, muzzle flash and go to Google Images. Look at this. Look how many there are. There's just an abundance of them. But they all have a black background. Now, you don't want to bother cutting it out. So what you want to do instead is you want to go back to the options of your layer 2 and select uh, additive mode. It's going to get rid of all the black, basically. Because I'm going to show you in a sec, right? So we're going to take, for example, this this uh, muzzle flash and we add it to the layer. Oh, this is good. So this is how it looks now, right? It looks good, but if we didn't change the mode, this is how it would look like. It would look fucking retarded, right? So that's why we changed the mode, so it doesn't look retarded. And there you go. This is And just zoom out to make sure your thumbnail looks good, because most people are going to see your thumbnail like this. Yeah, it's, it's, this is literally smaller than my thumbnail now. Uh, but yeah, that's this This is how you do it. You know, maybe you walk around with it, maybe you don't even need it. Who knows, who cares, it's just it's a fucking thumbnail. I hope this helped your YouTube career. Make sure you keep clickbaiting and fucking stay amazing. Bye-ya.